right, so basically I'm gonna try to bang this out real fast because I already talked about it in a video that I'm gonna upload before I upload this one. Um, the gas gauge on here is um is it don't work basically. Um, so I'm about to fix it. I'm about to do it myself. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Like um, right now. As you can see, uh, that's not how much gas I got in there. I don't know how much gas I got in there, like I just said. So I just put $15 in here. So I should be over a half a tank or, you know, something like that. So uh, I'm about to fix it now. And I got to be quick. And I can't really get as much footage as I want because, all right, just beeping. Because I only got seven minutes to record right now so i'm gonna just show the process as i'm going through okay so first thing first what you want to do uh, uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take you gotta take the back seat out so that's the first thing you want to do is take out the back seat so i'm about to do that it's these little tabs uh it's like one right here and then it's another one i think it's just one on each side so you pull those tabs out and the whole seat come off. So I'm about to do that now. Okay, so I just pull that tab up like that, pull it out, and then this seat lift right up. So I'm about to go do the other side. So now I just came on this side and did the same thing. So now the whole back seat come up. Seat belt's stuck, but it come right out like this. And then what you need is you just probably gonna need some shop towels and you are gonna need one of these. That's it, and like a flathead screwdriver. But that's all you really need. So I'm gonna take the back seat out, sit it over there, then I'm gonna get to it. Okay, so I got the back seat off. This is what you're gonna see. This would be the fuel pump right here. So uh, you got these little tabs right here, these little black tabs. All you need is like a smaller flathead or you could use a Phillips. So you could do that. So I'm about to take these off. I think it's just one turn. Cause I don't got like a regular flathead right now. After you take these off, I'll show what it look like when I get this off okay so now you just turn these little tabs right here and then it come right off okay okay so now we got this off and this is what it looks like um so basically first thing first you unplug this then you unplug this but you need, um, I learned this on YouTube, by the way, but I'm just making another video because I, it was hard for me to find this video. So I felt if anybody ever needed this information and uh, I'm going to go ahead and try it myself. So if you having this problem with an Infinity G35 um, 2008, um, if you having this problem, you would know what to do. You could basically do it yourself and you don't have to pay nobody to do it. But I just wanted to do it myself. So now basically you want to find the right match to go to these. Um, you can use a Phillips or you can use one of these. So I don't have a Phillips. I'm just going to use one of these. I don't know what size, but y'all can figure it out. All you need is this kit and you can find out. But I'm going to go ahead and um, unplug that gray thing. Then I'm going to... Um, unplug that and get it ready because I know gas is going to come out once I take it off so I'm going to do that and then I'll show y'all after I don't got nobody to record for me right now or you know so I'm going to do the best I can but I want this video to be some good information for anybody that's looking so this is how it look once you take this off and then you just unplug that and then you get something in there because it's going to be a lot of gas come out I'm gonna try to catch some of it if I can't. Oh well, but so basically, what you're gonna need is a eight millimeter, eight millimeter, and then 
that's gonna do it. So the eight, the eight millimeter fit on the little bolts right here, just perfect. So eight millimeter, get yourself one of these. Eight millimeter, and there you go. Okay, so I got everything off. I got this off of this little white piece right here. Now <clears throat> it's the little tabs on the side. So like the little clear tabs, like right here on both sides you got to click them in and once you click them in they stay clicked in and then um like i said i'm gonna click those in and then when i pull it out um the fuel is gonna come out it's gonna be some fuel come out i'm gonna try to catch a little bit with this bottle so it won't be all over inside and then once i do that um yeah so i'm gonna get to taking the bolts off that's how i got it so when it spill I could try to catch some of it in the bottle, so we will try it and see what happened. All right, so now I'm about to pull this other tab and um, pull the. Okay. okay, here come the fuel. So I just had to go uh, clean my camera memory just so I could finish this video, but. Now I got the tabs clicked in on each side. It's time to pull this joint out and see how much gas gonna spill out of here. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of scared because I don't know. Uh, come on, baby. Come on. I know you ain't never been off before. Fuck. trying to shoot out it's a little messier than I thought so I'm gonna probably try to keep that cover so I won't be all over the place pull this out without spitting gas on me alright so not that much it ain't bad it's still some inside here but I'm gonna just grab the shop towels and clean it all up. So I'm gonna get that tucked over here. So I know I'm gonna have some gas smell in here for a little while, but First part is out the way. Now, all I gotta do is get these bolts off here. So we ain't gotta worry about no more gas coming out because we got the tank now, it's just sitting. So, these is real short. Keep those right there. So, I was doing too much spinning, all I needed was. Three of them. So what you gotta do, just wipe the stick? Yeah, the little sensor. Mm. Like the little sensor on there, you about to wipe it for, the, the one dude said he wiped it for like five minutes. That's probably what I'm gonna do. And you wanna wipe it back and forth. You don't wanna just wipe it in all directions or something like that. Put some little lines on there. You wipe it along the line. Spring loaded. So once this come off, yep, pop up a little bit. Make sure that don't fall up in there. And now that's 
set it. Now we're just going to pull her out. I'll take this off first. That's got gas on it. Just sit that out here. be like a little thing hanging off Wiggle it out there's a cord over here okay, okay so that's the thing you want to bring it out at an angle off of it. It's alright. We live. So we'll just let that drain out. Now, this is it right here. This is the sensor. Just gonna, oh, let me see. Take these little tabs. Okay, got that one off. That one. That one. Just take that off right there. Put that over there. This is the piece that they talking about. So those little lines right there, I guess those are lines that you want to wipe. Uh -huh. Somebody said you could do it with a Q-tip, but I don't got no Q-tip right now. So basically, those little lines, I'm going to just wipe them. Clean towel. Wipe the lines across. He said you don't want to wipe them no other direction. You just want to wipe them straight across. Alright, so I've just been wiping this straight across. You want to go straight across. You don't want to go up and down or around. You just want to go straight across. So I've been wiping this for a couple minutes and I'm going to just keep doing that for a couple more minutes and then start putting everything back together all right so I just got finished wiping those lines now I'm about to put everything back together and see what happened I probably wiped them for what about f maybe four minutes or something like that we gotta, oh, just gotta go okay so yeah you gotta lift this up a little bit just so it'll fit in there and then snap those back on snap all of them back in place this make sure your cord go back in there you want to 
want to get this in here first because it's coming in at an angle. This don't work. I don't know what to tell. This don't work. I don't know what to tell you. So now take our bolts. Right that oh 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 forgetting something. Take them all, put them in there a little bit, then tighten them. Just the first time I ever did like a DIY on my car. Any car that I had. I'm not a mechanic. I usually don't do this type of stuff, but it looked pretty easy to fix it. So I figured I'd just do it myself. Get a nice little video going. I'm just anxious to give it a try though, I can't lie to you. Alright. Click that back in. That's in there tight. Put that down. Match them up with the uh, it was like that, yep. Match it up. In there, then take your screwdriver and just some of these turn them back. Hey, the last one. last one to be turned I'll just leave that one and then that's pretty much it so I'm gonna get over here I'm gonna go wash my hands first then I'm gonna go and come back and give it a try all right so this is the moment of truth right here I hope this motherfucker start <laughs> all right so I'm gonna try it see if it even moves saying I got I don't know 
I don't know, because it's like, I thought I put more gas in it. No, I only put, it was completely empty. And then I put um, basically like $13 maybe. And then I just, uh, I don't know. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is, it's at. Some more in it. Oh, a little bit over E. Yeah, so I don't know if that's accurate still. Do the miles still empty? Seven miles. I don't know. I don't know if that's right still. Maybe. Because I mean that's gotta be nah, that's that can't be right. Alright, so like you said, it's real low right now. I'm about to go. I'm at the gas station. I'm about to put some gas in there and see if it moves. Just so we know if it really work or not. So we about to see what happened. Uh, 93. Right. All right. It's the moment of truth right here. It's the moment of truth. So this is the moment of truth right here. So if that meat if that needle move up, I mean it worked. If it don't move, then that means I failed the mission. Oh, there we go. There we go. I did it. I did it. That's sweet. Alright, so that's it. That's it. We did it. I still got a mess back here. But I'm about to go back, clean that up, uh, get the back seat put back in, and that's it. So I finally took care of the problem. All right, there we go. It's at a half a tank now, and I don't have to worry about if I got enough gas or if I don't got enough gas. So that was one for this video. That's it, man. I'm happy as hell. I ain't going to... I'm happy as hell.